Good morning. Or shall I say, hello, this is Taylor. Welcome to a vlog. Chipped paint. Little update, not a job update, but just why I'm in LA and why it may seem like I've been here a lot recently. Basically, I just needed a little bit of a break. After my last project, I decided to come here for a couple days just while I was in between projects. And then I went back to New York for a week. And then I actually took some vacation days because I realized that since I started my job, one year ago yesterday. So today is one year and one day. I've only taken three vacation days, which sounds insane, I know, but let me explain. I took three vacation days last October, but I have had time off like kind of built in. So I've been on the beach quite a bit, just within my first six months, especially of the job, which in consulting means that you're just not staffed on a project. You're in between projects and there's like a week delay or something, then you're on the beach. So with that beach time, I always try to do something. In fact, if you've been around for a while, you might remember that I went to Iceland with my mom. I made this Iceland vlog. I think it's a good one, you should watch it. And I didn't take vacation days for that. I was on the beach. So it's a little risky because yes, you can get work while you're on the beach. You can get asked to do specific tasks for certain projects. And I did get work while I was in Iceland. But anyway, I've had quite a bit of beach time. And then during Christmas, I took sick days to schedule some appointments and just, you know, also sort of time off. So the three vacation days sounds insane, but I have had built-in time off sort of. Anyway though, I realized that I had racked up quite a few vacation days. So I just took this week off, came home, felt like I needed a little bit of a reset. So I came here because the weather is literally perfect. In fact, we're about to go for a walk and the weather, I'm not gonna lie, is actually pretty nice in New York too. But during the week, it's tough because all my friends are working. So it's not like I can just go hang out with friends all day, every day, unless it's the weekend, you know? So I came home to see my parents, my dogs, my brother and relax. And that's why I'm here. So we're gonna go for a little walk. I think it's, I'm not wearing my watch. I think it's like 72, like perfect outside. So you can be in it too, Willie. Oh, not your best angle, but still cute. Oh, big yawn. Big yarn. Kind of hard to beat that. The Valley of Los Angeles, California. <laughs> I'm not wearing my sunglasses, but I am wearing sunscreen. So man, I love the sun. And it's also the time of year where things are green because it gets very brown. It just, it gets so hot in the valley in the summer. So the plants die. <laughs> oh, look at that lighting. Oh, so in like April and May. Yeah, there's just a lot of lush greenery. So I absolutely love it. And I'm going to go take advantage. Find my sunglasses because I'm squinting like an idiot. Go for a little walkie poo. And exciting news. In fact, I think I just heard the Amazon Prime truck roll up to the house. I ordered a new book that I'm excited to read. So might get a little bit of reading done today. We'll see. Oh, how gorgeous. It's also a good camera. I got to say, I got a new phone. This is my phone. iPhone 13 Pro, baby. Okay. I went inside and found my glasses because that was just a joke. So I was just saying, I don't really have a plan today. I'll probably go to Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. Probably do some YouTube stuff and I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. We're going to go for a walk because like you guys, I might have seen outside it is perfect weather and if the floor looks like a minefield it's because we have two puppies so my parents love to spoil them they have lots and lots of toys and they actually play with all of them which is good they don't just like throw them to the wayside so anyway walk time also quick fit check I <laughs> I went shopping yesterday with my mom and I was actually looking for dresses because a good friend of mine's wedding is this summer and there's just a bunch of events going on. I need like some nice dresses and ended up not finding any dresses, but rather spending the most at Abercrombie and Fitch of all places. They got some comfy staples, I'm not gonna lie. So I got some really nice sweatpants, like four different t-shirts, a sweatshirt, basically the opposite of dresses, the opposite of what I needed and was looking for. So. Fantastic. All right, guys, we're going for our walk. See, that's what I mean by brown. They had to clear these hills because they can catch on fire too easily. So what was once really, really pretty yellow flowers just a couple weeks ago, no longer. But we're going on our walk because the weather is perfect. I'm gonna listen to Atomic Habits for the third time. I know everyone loves that book and for good reason. All right, I'll see you soon. It's my lucky day. <laughs> hey guys, midway through stroll. Figured I'd take a little break. Oh, I'll just take a seat here. <laughs> It was at this point that I described a part of Atomic Habits that I find particularly interesting, but I'm not gonna bore you with those details right now, but read the book, it's very good. Now, back to it. This is me after I was gone for 20 minutes. Willie missed me. Willie missed me. Your buddy, your buddy. I just got back from my walk, but I refuse to go inside because it's 
perfect outside. And also remember when I said earlier that the weather's also nice in New York? Well, it's not. I checked and it's actually 48 in New York and it's 75 here. <laughs> So anyway, there are a couple things I have to do. I'm gonna read through the contract of a sponsor that I have coming up on an upcoming video. We already agreed on a rate and the talking points, but just have to read through the fine print of the contract. Sign that, get that over. I'll respond to some more comments on my latest video and then probably get started on the script for my next video. So usually I do YouTube stuff on Sundays. You guys have probably noticed if you've seen my other videos. Let's get some work done and we're doing it outside. For those who are curious about the business side of YouTube, I'm still pretty new to it. I haven't been a creator for all that long, but I do everything myself. I look through the emails, I read through the contracts, I ask for amendments, and I don't know, if you're curious, some of the things I look for are exclusivity rights. So basically, if the brand asks you to not work with, to not work with a competitor for however many days afterwards or before, and you can sell exclusivity for more. And then the main thing that I look for is media usage rights. So basically a lot of brands will try to ask for unlimited media usage rights, meaning they can use your face forever, basically for their brand, which I do not sign. I usually only would sign if it's, you know, a 30 day media usage right. So anyway, if you're curious about the sort of business side of YouTube, there's some info. And like I said, I do this all myself and it, it's very time consuming. At some point it would make sense to get a manager when the work just becomes too much for me to do by myself. But right now I like not giving away 20% of it or whatever it would be. So I'll do it by myself for as long as I can. All right, this contract is long and I don't want to film for as long as it will take me to read this, but everything looks good so far. Hi, Willie. Hello. Oh, hello there, didn't see ya. Just finished reading through the contract and this was actually the first one I have ever signed without asking for any amendments. Appreciate that, saves me time, saves them time stuff. Now I'm going to answer some comments on my latest video. I put out yesterday the travel day from hell and you guys seem to like it, which I'm very happy about. It's like a little bit of a story time on just a crazy, crazy travel day that I had as a consultant. So I'm going to respond to some comments now. This has always been one of my favorite parts about YouTube, reading through your comments, responding to as many as I can, especially on this travel video. I asked you guys to tell me some of your craziest travel moments and you left so many good stories. In the comment section on this video, the one that you're watching right now, tell me what you guys do to reset. Do you take a day to do absolutely nothing? Do you clean your room, go for a hike, read a good book, watch Netflix, whatever it is, I would love to hear about it. For me, as you can kind of tell, my reset days are typically a solid mix of relaxing and doing something productive. In this case, when it's perfect weather, which I think I've mentioned in this video 37 times already, I just like to spend as much of my day outside as possible. Starting with a walk outside, even when I'm in New York City and not surrounded by as much nature, I still absolutely love walking. And then the things that I do that are quote unquote productive during a reset day almost always revolve around YouTube because I'm passionate about it so it doesn't feel like work and or reading a book, which I do some of later in this video too. Oh, and hanging out with my dogs if I'm at home. If you guys thought that this was a lot of dog footage, I can't even tell you how much I cut out of this video. Guys, it is so nice. I know I've been saying this the whole video, but I'm just chilling. I should be doing more, but I could just sit here. The only thing that would make this nicer is if my book would come. It's still up for delivery via Amazon, and I would just be sitting out here reading if it was here, but sitting out here doing not much else isn't too bad either. Oh, look who it is. Really? outside in another setting now. <laughs> My dad and I are gonna go to Trader Joe's because I'm kind of out of food. So I'm gonna get some salad makings, probably do something chicken related tonight for dinner. We'll see, world's my oyster. Let's go to Trader Joe's. Here we are, my favorite part. Gorgeous sight to behold. Spring mix, check. Tomatoes, check. Dates, check. Cheese. Cheese, check. <laughs> oh, gee. Check. Wontons. Check. These things. Check. My favorite cookies. Check. These never make it home in one piece. These came with two missing. Just got back from TJ's. Still such a nice, lovely day outside. <laughs> okay, can you tell I've been on the East Coast for too long? Hasn't even been that long. Anyway, haven't eaten yet today, so let's do a, let's do a little salad, shall we? Be healthy. <laughs> It says it's triple washed, but I'm gonna wash it again anyway. I'm gonna let that drain because the dressing won't stick to the leaves as well if it's really wet, so. All right, this might seem over dramatic, but I'm gonna dry my leaves. <laughs> Lay flat and pat to dry. <laughs> ah, 
mozzarella. Normally I put some chicken or some other like form of protein, but I'm gonna do chicken tonight for dinner. So I'm just gonna use mozzarella as the protein. I'm gonna do a pretty big chunk too, so don't judge me. Now let's do some lemon juice. I picked this off of our tree this morning. Olive oil, salt and pepper, give that a mix. <sighs> right back where I started. Hi, Biscuit. Hi, Biscuit. You know, I did not used to like salads for the longest time. I think what changed was a Jamie Oliver video actually, where he showed like how you can make salads fun and interesting and not just like your typical boring kind of house salad type thing, which I mean, hey, this is a boring house salad as far as I'm concerned, but you can add like crunchy things. And anyway, he goes over like the principles of a salad and a good dressing and everything. I'll link it, highly recommend. I think it's a really, and he's just hilarious. I love him, so. Hello. It's a couple hours later and the sun is, and the sun is finally golden. <laughs> Feels good. Well, hello, cutie. Oh, my Millie. Look at that light. Also, look what came. <laughs> my book. Book came. Since we're doing everything outside today, we're gonna unbox it here too. You might hear other people. There's a lot of people outside by their pools hanging out because the weather's so nice. This is called Verity by Colleen Hoover, if you can if you can read. I read one of her other books, Ugly Love, very popular book. I liked her writing style, it was easy to read, so I figured I would buy this one. I've heard that this one is much more of a psychological thriller, which is my favorite type of book. And I've also heard that if you like The Silent Patient, which is one of my favorite books, you will like this one and vice versa. So I'm excited to try it. And the sun is going right below the hill as we speak. Let me show you. Look at that. All right, opening line. I hear the crack of his skull before the spattering of blood reaches me. Do you wanna come up here? Puppy mania. Hi, Misk. <laughs> I'm not gonna get any reading done. No, I'm not. They have unlimited toys and this is what they bring in the house. Willie, Willie, <laughs> let go, let go, Willie. I'll throw a real toy for them to distract them. This should do it. <laughs> right where I started. Now, a short segment where my dad didn't know I was filming, but he was very excited about my mom making wonton soup for dinner. Please enjoy. Are you wontoning it? I'm wontoning it. Okay, I'm gonna put the wontons in, it's about two minutes. Wontons. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wonton. 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 My mother made this wonton soup for dinner. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and John's, my brother's not here, but let's pretend. And our dinner entertainment was also five stars. All righty, several hours later, had a really nice dinner with the parents and I read some more of this. Very good so far, excited to read more in bed. But for now, shower time. Shower complete, base, fresh, ready for skincare. All right, I won't do the skincare routine on camera, although let me know if you want one. Quite a few people I will say have asked for it, which is flattering, but uh, yeah, let me know if you want like a full version. Anyway, I'm just gonna brush my teeth, skincare now, and go to bed and read my book. So I hope you enjoy the organic vlog. At least one every now and then I think is fun. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Like and subscribe if you made it this far. Comment whatever you want down below. I respond to almost all my comments. So I'll talk to you down there. Turtle out.